y'all this is dina welcome to my channel y'all i'm back this morning um just i came in my craft room for a bit i wanted to work a little bit more on my swap this morning and so forth for valentine's and i remembered that i recently had i've had multiple people ask me why do i use my sussex machine when i have a cricket so i wanted to talk about the pros and cons of each one um, so as you know, I recently got the Joy Extra. If you've seen my video a couple of months back, I bought the Joy Extra. It is Cricut's newest machine. This is not sponsored by any means. Um, but I actually purchased this at Michael's and I absolutely love it. As you see, I don't have my other machine over here on my desk like I used to. I did put it over on my shelf and I keep this out as my go-to when I want to do something. Poor little Lola, I named her Lola. She's a little dusty up in here, so I think I need to do a little bit of cleaning on her. But anyway, I thought I would talk about what my favorite things about the Cricut machines compared to the Sissix and so forth. So let's just start by, let's just start with the Sissix, okay? So this is my go-to, and excuse the mess I have behind here. I'm working on paper, uh, my, my Valentine crafting. Um, this is the Big Shot. I've had it for years. I think my husband bought it for me when Tuesday morning was a thing. And I, um, I really do love it. Now, I have the Big Shot Plus as well as the Big Shot, okay? I did pull the Big Shot Plus out this week and used it one time and put it back over on my shelf. I prefer the Big Shot. I've thought about getting the smaller one. That could be a that could be something in my future getting the small one for little small things, but I keep this one out and I use this quite a bit. It is never up on a shelf. I usually keep it like close to my desk somewhere. Um, but anyway, the, the reason that I like this one is because you can just quickly cut something out without having to boot up your computer because as you might know, Cricut has to use the Cricut design space. So you have to boot your computer and you have to take the time to find the image. But if you have the big shot and you have the dies, you can just put your paper, put your die, and crank it right on through, and you've cut your cut image. That is the one plus about having this. The negative part about having this is it doesn't work without dies. So if you don't have these metal dies, any kind that you, that you want to use, if you don't have these, it's not going to do you any good. What can you cut? Nothing. So... That is the negative of Big Shot. Now, most of us crafters, we start accumulating metal dies because we get where we love the ease and we love how you can just grab your die that has a specific shape, which this one is the chocolate bar um, that I'm going to be using in my swap. And like this one has banners, um, but it's easy for you just to pull out your paper, put this, and you've got it cut within seconds really I mean it takes long enough for you to crank it through and you're done so I recommend this one completely if you are already getting a stash of dies just know this doesn't work unless you have some dies to go with it okay I like to use some good cardstock at least 65 pound for my for my projects and so forth but this thing you can tell look at the top she's kind of already getting yellowed on the top this thing I've had it probably probably oh, five years four or five years I've been using this same one I would love a nice pink one if I saw a pink one I might buy another one because I literally have ran the, I've ran the socks off of this thing now the other thing about the big shot is you do have to have plates Okay, these plates, as you see, look at that, they wear, they wear down and sometimes they warp and so forth. If you flip them ever so often, they're okay. They'll last you for a while. But I like to replace my plates. Um, I like to replace my, my plates like ever so often, you know, because I like them to be nice and flat. And, you know, once it starts looking like this, 
I mean, hey, that doesn't look too bad as what it's going to be before I change these. But that is the one thing about it is, you know, you can change the plates. They're nice and new. They'll last you a long time. I get my plates on usually on scrapbook.com. I have also purchased some like when I went to the Scrapbook Expo. I believe I got some there. Um, but I like the ones on scrapbook.com because now they come in colors. And so that's actually the cool part. It comes in colors. So anyway, I um, I really do love this. I'm not going to get rid of it unless I upgrade it to a pink one if I can find it. Um, just because I've used it and ran the socks up, but it is a workhorse. The thing is still going well. My handle never falls off. You know, my husband puts a Loctite on it and it never happened again. So I really do love the Big Shot. Now the Big Shot Plus, I like the Big Shot Plus too. I don't have it out here with me, but it's like like wider and it it is just a big workhorse. The reason I use this one, it's a little bit more space friendly. I guess you can say it doesn't take up as much space on your on your desk as the Big Shot Plus does. Um, I'm not really sure of the dimension. Let me see if I can grab a plate or something from that. Okay, so this right here, this came from my Big Shot Plus, okay? And so you can see the difference. And let me unwind this here, get these out of here. And I'm gonna hold the plate up compared to this and you can see the difference. This is how big the plates are for the Plus compared to just the regular Big Shot. So you can see that the Big Shot Plus um, is much larger. Now, I haven't replaced the plates on my Big Shot Plus because I don't use it as often, but um, I haven't. One day I'll have to replace them, but if I don't use it as often, this one is sufficing for what I need it for. I'll just keep using this one, but yeah. So that you can kind of see the difference of the size of the plates. So, so as far as the Big Shot it's a great product. I love this machine. There are other machines out there too. I also have um, two electronic machines. I have the Sissix Switch. I believe it's the Switch. Um, yeah, it's electronic. And I also have, let me look at the other one, y'all. Hold on. I have the Gemini Junior and it's electric as well. This still is my go-to. Okay, um, because the reason is I love the Gemini Junior. I have it up on my shelf. I named it Bonnie after my mama. And um, I love it, except my plates warp so fast in it. And so that's one of the reasons I don't use it as much. I would, I, maybe it was user error. I don't know. I just know that this one is the one I gravitate back to and it works the best for me. Now, I'm not knocking the other products. They're great products. It's just, this one's just more, a little user friendly for me. And other one. Now, um, the Switch itself, the Big Shot, the Switch, the Sissix Switch, um, that one actually is, is kind, it's kind of large, like these kind of plates. And so you're able to put larger dies into it as well. And, but it's kind of noisy a little bit. And I just find myself not using as much. I find that this is easy. Pick it up and put it on my desk. That's why I go to it. Now, let's talk about the Cricut machine. Y'all, we both know the Cricut machine. We love our Cricut machines. I'm not, and you know, if you have a silhouette or if you have Brother Scan and Cut or whatever machine you have, I don't really know how like the Brother Scan and Cut works. I'm assuming you have to have software to go with it because I have never owned one. But I really do like the Cricut products. I have had the original Cricut. Like when it first came out, the expression. Y'all remember that? So one day when my sister was here, I already had, what in the world? Um, no, I don't want to make changes. Um, when my sister was here one day, I already had my Cricut Explore Air 2. And the expression was sitting in my closet. So the difference between the Air 2 and the regular expression was, 
or even the 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 Cricut Explore Air. I guess there was one. I don't know. I just know I have a two. Um, but it might have the expression, and you had to have the cartridges that you'd have to pop down in. So those were actually pretty easy to use. It was great to use those and everything like that. But you know, in the little screens that come on the expression, it was just so small. But when I got the Air 2, the expression kind of got in the closet because I'd never used it anymore. And I had all these um, cartridges that really, I don't even know where you could buy them anymore, maybe eBay or something like that. But so I ended up giving my expression to my sister along with all the cartridges. And, you know, those cartridges were at least $25 a piece unless you got a sale. And so they weren't cheap. So my sister, I gave them all to her. I don't know how much she even uses it, but it did go home to Colorado to, with her. So I had that. I have the Explore Air 2, and um, on my birthday, I think two, three years ago, my husband bought me the Cricut Explore 3, and I have that one. I always kept it on my desk over here, but, you know, I really, I like it, it but it worked well for me for my vinyl, but I kept having issues with my paper, and so I would get kind of, you know, you get kind of frustrated because who, what crafter wants to waste paper? I don't want to waste paper. So anyway, so I finally just decided I'm going to pull out my other one, but my old Air 2, it's getting kind of noisy. So I really think it's on its last limb. I ran it till the wheels fell off, y'all. Um, so anyway, so I ha still have the three. I put it over there. Um, but I also have the Cricut Joy, which is smaller than this one. I believe it's like maybe a five inch opening here around that, around that um, size. And it's really great. I love the Joy. The Joy is a great machine. You can make long vinyl banners with it. If you get the the roll of the the roll of the smart vinyl, and you could just make long things out of it. I love it. I love it, and I won't get rid of it. But what drew me to the Cricut Joy Extra is, and this is not sponsored, y'all. I just like the product. Um, I like it because it had a wider mouth space here. So you can use um, like an eight and a half by you know, eight and a half by eleven, I believe, or eight, whatever your whatever your um, the mat is. I believe the mat is eight. Let me double check. I want to make sure I'm telling you the correct info. Hold on, friends. Let's see. It's eight and a half. So here is my Cricut um, X Joy Extra Mat, and as you can see through the plastic here. It goes to eight and a half and it is by 12. So I love this machine. I've kept this on my desk and when I want to cut something with it or whatever, it's great. Now, remember, I love my Sissix, good old Sissix over here. I love this. The plus for having the Cricut and even like whatever Cricut machine you deserve, just have, decide to have, or if you have a silhouette or whatever, I don't know as much about the Silhouette software because I haven't really played in it a whole lot unless I sublimate. But I like the, the Cricut because you can make things, you can design it, and you can cut it on your machine. The negative about Cricut is it doesn't work without the without you having a computer or a tablet or something like that because you have to be able to get to the Cricut design space before you can use your Cricut. So if you don't have if you don't have a um you know a computer or a tablet or a way to pull up Cricut design space, your Cricut is not going to work because it runs off the software. But if you have these things, the Cricut is an awesome tool to have in your craft space as well. You can go and you can create things. You can save things. These are things that I've created. As you see, here's one that I'd created before and I saved it. You know, you can go through and you can save your products or save your projects, as I should say. And, you know, you've got them there for when you want to remake them or whatever. Um... So anyway, so yeah, I just, I love my Cricut. Sometimes if I don't feel like turning on my computer, that's when I'll go to my Big Shot if I have the die I want. But if I don't have a die that I want to use and there's something specific I want to, I want to um, 
use in my use on my project or whatever I can just boot up my computer or go into my tablet and I can go to my Cricut design space and I can find it you usually can find something you know and yeah and you can just go through and cut it whatever the nice thing about having the Cricut too is it does have the print and cut feature where you can make stickers or you can print your print your pictures or whatever you know your your design and you could print it on your computer and come over here and it will cut it out for you so that is the plus for having that as well so I am sitting here looking at this and I'm thinking you know what I need to make flowers so I need, huh, I'm gonna need to do this one that I had saved. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna customize it. I'm not gonna show you how I make it right now because that wasn't the reason for this video, but, or I can. I'm gonna use, let's go ahead and let's cut one. Okay, you can see how fast this is going to cut. So this small flower, I can go up to eight and a half on here and right now I've got it right under seven inches in the width. So I'm gonna go up a little more. And there I go. Now this is just the rolled flower. I got this, I you can get them over here in images. Um, I also had a die that was, um, that I got from Timu actually. And y'all, I threw it in the trash. It made a flower like this and I threw it in the trash. It didn't cut well. I kept wasting my paper because it wouldn't even cut the middle. So that's the one thing about using the Cricut machine versus dies. Make sure you have good dies. You know, uh, most of the products that we get in dies, they cut really well. Scrap Divas dies cut really awesome. Um, you know, there's a lot of different dies that cut so nicely. But that particular one that I got, the center part that's right over here, it wouldn't even cut it and it kept wasting my paper. So I went in there and I told my husband, this die that I got on Timu, he goes, yeah. I said, here it goes. And I threw the thing in the trash because it was useless to me because it wouldn't cut. So let's go ahead and quickly cut this one out since I've got you up here, I might as well. So I'm gonna move my big shot off and put it on the floor. And I'm gonna bring over my mat so I can get some paper and we're gonna cut. And you can just see how well this cuts. Let me see what I've got over here. I want to make sure I got a good sheet of paper. Bear with me. I think I'm going to need, of course, I'm going to need some pink. And I like to use at least 65 pound cardstock. I'm going to use this piece. I'm going to go ahead and get it on my mat. So let's just go right here. Now this was not going to be a demonstration on this, but it kind of turned into that. So let's just go with it. If you're new to Cricut and you need to learn this, learn it. So, so I just had someone just the other day ask me about, you know, why don't I use my Cricut machine much? That's why I decided to make this video, you know, just because, um, yeah, that way it kind of tells you my thoughts and my feelings. These are my thoughts and my feelings only. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do some little switcheroo here, and I'm gonna move my computer over here because when you're using your Cricut machine, you gotta make sure you have ample space behind so then your, so your mat will be like bug, bogged up to the wall here. So I'm gonna move this over. Hopefully you can still see because I need to cut flowers anyway. Part of my swap is flowers. And so I love these rolled flowers. And I'm gonna go ahead too, and we'll quickly demonstrate how to roll the flower if you're new to this. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna quickly plug in my glue gun. So let me get that in. I'm gonna go ahead get that get that heated up over there okay so I'm gonna go ahead um, on here you want to make sure that you're going to select make at the top and I'm doing it on a mat you want to make sure that your Cricut machine that you're using is selected I am using the joy extra over here and so forth so all I'm gonna do is click continue
and the next screen that comes up, you're going to select your type of product you're using. I'm just going to leave mine on heavy card stock. And then all you have to do, and let me let me see if I can get this on here. Let's see here. Hold on. Cricut machine. You're working. You're 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 anticipating me coming here. See, it starts rolling. Okay, let me make sure I get this in right. What's going on with my mat? I think it curled up a little bit. See, that's the one thing about the Cricut machine too, is you have to have you have to have mats. So you have to have mats, the supplies that go with it, but so do you have to have it for the Sussex as well. So, you know, that's just this just the pros and cons of these machines and us us and our, our paper crafting, the things that we want to do. Okay, so now that I've got this, okay, it's still waiting for me to um for it to select the right machine. So that's why it's clocking up here. Okay, so it's now connected. My paper is here. I'm going to select um, heavy cardstock, and now my machine is going to be ready to go. There we go. So now you're just going to wait for it to measure your mat, make sure you have enough space. And now it's just going to, uh, I'm going to click go on my machine, my screen. So you can actually see that this actually cuts very fast. If you have a Sysix die cut machine and you're using a die, of course, you're going to roll it through once or twice and you'll be done. You got to wait for this one to finish doing its little cutting thing and so forth. But it actually, it's it's not really that long. It really isn't. So, do I like the, the Sussex more than I like the Cricut? No, I like them both equally because they each can do different things. The difference with the Sussex is that it is um, easy for you to just grab it and be done. And for this one, you've got to boot up your computer. You've got to go to the design space, find your design and so forth unless you have it saved. So as you see, it's almost done cutting. And there you go. It's going to go around again, it looks like. It's probably because I have it on the heavy card stock setting, and that's why it's going through a second time. And now it's done. So all I got to do is click unload on my, com my computer screen, and it is ready for me to pull this off and assemble. So, see how nicely that cut? So nice. Let's put it together really fast. Okay, so I'm gonna remove it off my mat. If you're new to this, if you want, you can just kind of roll your mat a little bit and it just will come right off where your project doesn't get bent. That's what I do. So now, this is what we've got. I like to start mine off with like using my bone folder, kind of kind of curling it just a little bit, but you don't have to. Just kind of to end, this could be the right or wrong way to do this, okay? This is the Stina's way. So all you're gonna do, you're gonna take the end. Amy, if you're watching, pull out your new Cricut. She wrote me the other day and said that she got a new Cricut Explorer 2, so. Here you go, make yourself some flowers. So you can use some like little tool to try to roll these up or you can just roll them by hand. That's what I do. One day I might invest in some kind of little like Dremel tool that will roll these up. But all you're pretty much gonna do now is just take this and you're gonna roll it. So just kind of roll. And then you're gonna be able to kind of release it just a little bit once you, oopsie and look at that. Let me go back, y'all. Yeah, I was really hopeful on that flower dye I had, but no. I'm not going to keep wasting my paper when I rolled it through multiple times before I even tried to pull it off. So 
Yeah, beware of certain dyes, which maybe it just could have been a bad dye. You know, it might not have even been the maker of it. It could have just been one that just didn't cut well. Okay, I'm coming toward the end. You can see it's rolling up right there. Sorry for any shadow here. I don't really know how to get rid of that. So once you get to the end, you can kind of like kind of release it just a little bit, just a little bit, don't do too much. I like to keep mine pretty tight here. Let me go back. And once you get to the end, you've got that little round piece here. This is gonna be for the bottom. So you can kind of release it just a little bit so this goes on the bottom. That's what I do. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this around. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. If I want it to stay tight, I just add a little glue toward that end. And let me hold it down. And then you're gonna add glue onto that bottom. So when you get here to this end, this is just how I do it. I just hold that down, and there you've got yourself a small cute flower. I like to take my petals and kind of fold them out. Now you can let it loose a little more to make this a little larger. I kind of like them like this. You can do it any way you choose. The nice thing about the Cricut, the difference is the Cricut, is if you have a die for your Sissix or your die cut machine, it's only going to make that size of die. The nice thing about Cricut is you, you can resize it to the size you want like you saw me do. So anyway, there is my flower. That easy, isn't it though? I think I'm gonna make a few more because I need some of these for my swap. And um, so I'm just gonna make up quite a few of these so I can send them off to my partner. They're great for decor on your like packaging or, or embellishments on your packaging or whatever. But anyway, that is my thoughts on it. Do I love both products? Absolutely. Will I keep buying them? Probably so. Um, because I do love them and all that. I love my Cricut machine and they each do different things. Sometimes if I don't use it, the reason is because maybe I was too lazy to turn on my computer. Um, but it's, uh, and sometimes it's easier to pull out my Sussex. But if you don't have the die, you can usually find your image on the Cricut Design Space or on whatever software you're using. Anyway, I hope you guys like this informative video. This is just my thoughts and feelings on it. Look how sweet that is. Isn't that the cutest? That's cute. I'm going to make a couple more in different colors. And y'all, I hope you guys have a awesome Saturday. Do something that you love. Know that you are loved. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.